Hey there fellow artists, Tino here, and today I have an exciting tutorial for you. Ensuring you have the boom tool and the other add-ons I mentioned installed, let's dive right in. Open up Blender and let's start off by creating a cylinder and scale it to the appropriate size of the canister. We'll utilize edge loops and bevels. Select the top and bottom edges here and make sure to implement 5 through 6 bevel segments for a smoother look. Add a cube and scale it for the center. Make the transformations uniform, then select the corner edges by using Alt Select. And bevel them after that. Shade Auto Smooth, then press Ctrl Minus. Adjust the cutter to your liking, then apply. Now we'll create a chamfer. Clean the vertex artifacts by merging them together with machine tools by pressing 3. I highly advise you download this add-on as it will save your sanity. Now we will bevel the chamfer edges with 5 to 6 bevel segments ever so slightly. Select the top corner faces of the canister and inset them, then press Alt E and select extrude along normals. Do the same for the bottom section. Now add another cube, scale it, then bevel the top corners only. Shade Auto Smooth, then Control Shift Slash to slice it. Finally, scale it ever so slightly. Select the inner face of the canister and inset them. Then, Alt E extrude along normals. Duplicate it, convert to curve, extrude under curve properties, convert back to mesh, run a solidify modifier, control shift to minus to run a difference. Now add a cutter from the kit ops add-on. Apply the boolean. Then delete the object. Now we have the cut only. Congratulations, we have now achieved the basic shape of the canister. As for now, I will time lapse how I detailed and textured the rest of the model. Feel free to slow down and follow along.
And there you go. We've created a captivating sci-fi minimalistic canister with elegance and style. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check the links in the description for the third party add-ons I mentioned. Give it a thumbs up, sub for more, keep creating and stay inspired. This is Tino signing off.